Okay, we are rolling. What we're talking about is how I put everything in the ground or how I prepare the ground. Uh, when I'm preparing the ground during the summertime or for spring planting for summer food plot for the deer, I will, uh, let's see, what do I do? I'll go in. Usually I've got a, 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 a winter food plot. So what I'll do is I'll go in and I'll, I'll shred it. Uh, my my rye and oats and the things that I had for the winter time I'll go in and I'll shred it uh, then I'll go in and I'll spray it and I'll kill everything that's wanting to come up and this is usually about April the 15th because I want to put my clay peas and my grain sorghum in the ground northeast Texas I want to put it in the ground about uh, May 1st that's kind of the magic number for the peas you can go a little later you can go later if you want to I, I've heard of people planting peas all the way up into the end of June 1st of July as long as you get one rain, the peas seem to do just fine. But magic number for me, and what I stick by is May 1st for my iron and clay peas. Um, so I'll April the 15th, I'll go in and I'll spray, uh, mow, spray anything that's down at the bottom with just Roundup. I'll kill everything that I possibly can. And then if, if I've got good dead stubble, if everything was thick, I might burn it off and just let it burn, put those nutrients into the ground, and... Uh, uh, and and it's just fun to go out and burn it anyway, but go out and burn it and uh, Let those nutrients go on the ground kill any old seed Maybe some few bugs maybe some eggs of bugs all these different things fires just good for everything uh, In my opinion, so I'll burn it off and then I'll let it sit until May 1st and then uh, Sometime between April and May 1st. I've done my soil sample. So I know by this time uh, ahead of time well ahead of time of planning what I need for my for my uh, for my soil so I'll go in and I'll put go ahead and put in my lime and I'll put in uh, it won't do fertilizer or anything but I'll go ahead and lime it if I need lime and then we are fortunate enough to have a no-till drill because we do a lot of winter planting for cow pasture for pasture uh, winter wheat and all for pasture so we've got a, a no-till drill I'll just go in right on top of the ground right over where I've, I've sprayed and everything and put my seed right into the ground from there and then after I get a nice once the peas get on up just a little ways I'll go in and I'll fertilize what my soil sample told me to fertilize with and fertilize and go ahead and let that those peas come on out and grow and then uh, just like farming all you do is just hope for rain and you're good to go most cases you don't have a no-till drill so most people are gonna go out they're gonna have a disc on a tractor and they're gonna get the two acre food plot and they're gonna go out and they're gonna disc it all up into good powder. Uh, I would recommend even spraying ahead of that. I'd, I'd mow, uh, that's what I, I, I've i done that in the past. Uh, I've dissed, so a lot of times I'll go in and I'll mow everything down. Uh, maybe even spray it after that just to kill whatever seeds out there, whatever whatever's wanting to grow just to kind of get everything dead. And then I may disc it up after it's got good and dead uh, and then go in and you broadcast your seed right on top of the ground and a lot of times what I've done in the past is I've actually uh, broadcasted my peas and I'll go in lightly with my disc and just disc it one time I'll raise the disc up get it a little bit higher just to where it's barely turning the soil because you want, don't want those seeds very deep go ahead and turn that dirt over with those peas get them about all oh, three quarters of an inch under the dirt maybe a half inch a lot of times in that soft soil, all you need is one, uh, after it's disc, all you need is one rain and those peas will go right into the dirt. So you really don't have to worry about it a whole lot, but it is good to just kind of dust them and turn them over with a, with a, with your disc or just go in and drag with a harrow. Uh, I've drugged with a harrow, but it seemed like I could, instead of going and hooking something else up, I'd just get, I'd get lazy and just hook the disc up and run the disc over at one time, just turn those peas in one time and it seemed to work. Now, if it don't work for you, don't blame me. Cause I'm no expert but that's what I did and it has worked in the past so that's uh that's how I plant that's what I do I'm no expert uh, but uh, I'm learning as I go